Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down arena. And today I want to do something a little bit different. Actually, we'll get this get this out of here. There we go. We're gonna be playing with some mono blue merfolk again. I've brought it back. This is the uh, deck list, very similar to Nikachu's, uh, except with a couple additions and subtractions here. We've, we're running Kopala, Matt, Warden of the Waves. Uh, so a card I want to bring back in, I think, even into the Simic deck. I think it'll help against Mono Red. It did in the past, uh, back when Arena just started blowing up. We had Mono Red in the mix, and Kopala did uh, pretty nice work of getting the wins on that. So bringing him back in is something I wanted to do. So we'll uh, see if we can pull them in our games today here and see if it helps us out at all with uh, some mono merfolk. So a couple water traps, Tempest Gins, our honorary merfolk of the day, Kopala, three of them, Trickster, Spell Pierce, Siren Storm, Tamer, Mist, Clo, Carol, Dive Down, Curious Obsession, and the Benthic Biomancer. All the classics. We'll see how it runs. I have not yet tested it. Uh, so let's uh, let's get in there. See how we can do. I feel like I'm speaking really uh, close to the microphone here. There we go. That's a little bit better. <clears throat> Alright, two bends in the gin. We can play everything in hand. I think we'll keep. And look at that. We're already up against Mono Red. Fantastic. Um, so... We're gonna want to... We'll, we'll put him out and see if he survives. If he doesn't, then it's no big deal. We've got another one. If we can bait one of their burn spells, I'm fine with that. Just gonna go straight to my face. Straight to my face. They know I'm not going to block, so... This might be a quick game. Could have uh, probably attacked in there, but... Uh, wasn't going to happen. This is gonna tr he's gonna sacrifice him either way if I try to target him, so that's why we're just gonna do this. It's fine. Another trickster is pretty darn good right now, so let's get out Siren Storm Tamer. Finally start getting some damage in. Pass to them. They throw another get to down, that would actually be pretty nice. Trap it again with Trickster. I'm gonna skewer the critics, my Trickster, so we're gonna we're gonna say no to that. That's what it's there for. I'm sure they're just trying to get him out of the way. We're gonna play both our bends here, um, and just prep for Trickster, or we can always pump one of them up if we need to. Vishnu is fine, I'm not worried about it. Resolve. Pass to the attack, into combat, we're gonna go Trickster. do this, we'll pump this, see what we get here. Another Tempest Gin is not bad, actually. So I could, a couple lines, I, I could dump the Tempest, put down an island, and play my Tempest this turn, or I could dump the island, keep two Tempests in hand, and just uh, keep using them since they're running out of cards. So if they destroy one, we'll have another one as backup. And I think I'm leaning more towards that. We gotta look at the, the long term here for this. Which 
means I probably could have pumped up the other Ben, but that's okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Mono Blue Merfolk getting a win against Mono Red. All right. Yeah, well, feels pretty good. I'll take that. Mono Blue Merfolk might be coming back. Augur of Bolas getting printed in War of the Spark. How can we utilize him best? He is a Merfolk wizard. Uh, I think there's some potential there with Mono Blue, but we'll see. A lot of proliferate going on. I don't know if we're going to need to dig as much as I think we will with Augur, but we might. We might. Just got to see. Did everybody pre-order their stuff yet? I got to go in and pre-order myself, actually. This isn't bad. We got a couple retorts. Okay, now we're getting better. Let's go Miss Cloak first. Maybe it was better to. I think it would have. I it would have been the better line to drop Storm Tamer first, honestly. Um, but that's all right because now we've got Wizards Retort online for next turn. Start countering some of the phoenixes. Yep. My turn. Ben's great here. Okay. So let's drop a uh, Ben. Pass the turn. They're going to start setting up for their big turn here, I'm sure. There's Crackling. We're not going to let that hit. No thank you. Uh, good game, I guess. Alright, so same line here. Swing for two, little by little. Hold up the retort. Still got three cards in hand. So let them do their opt. Keep it on top. They like what they saw. Another Pyromancer, huh? We're going to let that resolve. Mm-hmm. Is a dive down worth it here? I think we'll let this resolve. Take that, and now we're gonna tap down Electro. Another island isn't bad. Bring him up a little bit. Spell Pierce is not terrible if we can do it right. I think we're going to hold on to the Spell Pierce. I think it's going to be pretty important for next turn. that resolve. That we will not. Oops. He's playing a little little tricky here, so uh, we'll go ahead and Put this on the trickster. And if he wants to trade anything here, I'm fine with that. Because he's uh he's in some rough shape. He's gonna double block. No big deal. 
I'm okay with that. Let's see what else they got. We're both running low on cards. Another crackling. All right. Now it's going to get interesting. We uh we we uh, countered as many as we could there. That's their third one. Gonna adapt now. Hmm. I think we'll hang on to the spell pierce still, but it's gonna it's looking pretty bleak now. I think they might have just started to turn the game around. There's two. He is going to get big. We'll let it resolve because if they try to tap out here, uh, we're going to spell Pierce. Ouch. Thinking. Tempest Gin is actually great right now. That's absolutely excellent. We're going to swing in. Feel free to block. We'll just uh, make it a little bit difficult for them to cast their spells. If Tempest Gin survives, we, we have the blocker up. All right. Uh, this is going to be interesting, for sure. Alright, we both empty-handed. Now things get interesting. <laughs> Land. Alright. <laughs> Let's keep doing this. No good draws. Come on. What you got? Alright, they get to draw another card. Not ideal. That Tempest Gen came in clutch there. Another Crackling. Nice. And the Opt. I still have not come across any of their Phoenixes yet. So this is interesting. Can't target my stuff really. We gotta pass the turn because we're gonna need to chump block. We need a way to deal with this Drake. I'm not sure if we can. I got two cards now in hand. Yep. Got a chump block here. He is digging so far. Does this is this deck not is this just like the basic deck he's using right now? No phoenixes? Is he doing uh just is it Drake's? Oh there's the Phoenix. There he is. Nice, he got his Phoenix. We're super dead. We are super dead. These are all spells. It's going down. Let's see. He just got one. Okay. Good game. Good game. Very good. Alright, I can't be mad about that. That was fun. That was a fun one. A lot of cool stuff happened that game. Alright, well, Mono Blue Merfolk. I think we're going to call it uh, wraps for today. We're already 15 minutes in, pretty much. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed Mono Blue Merfolk, let me know in the comments. Leave a like on the video, and maybe we'll start switching up, doing some mono blue merfolk. I, I needed a switch anyways. I was getting a little drained from the Simic Merfolk stomp. As fun as it is, I think we pushed it to uh, its max for a while. Uh, the losses are starting to stack up against our wins. Uh, so I think it's time we switched it up. Plus, War of the Spark, it's time to start brewing. It's right around the corner, so the brewing's going to begin. And uh, we'll see what we can do to help our merfolk decks step up their game in best of one here so stay tuned and we will see you guys in the next video